tonight is to read pages 41 and 42 and answer the three questions at the bottom of page 42. Yes, Crandall? Instead of writing down our answers, may we use our telepathic powers to transmit them directly to your brain? No, Crandall. Your answers must be handwritten in ink. Oh, very well. Crandall, Brenda, and Hector report to the governor, and be sure to do your homework. Fear not, Mrs. Willingans. We have our priorities in order. Glad you could make it, Timo. Here's the scoop. This is Madam Snake. Once an up-and-coming model-slash-fashion designer, she had an unfortunate accident involving experimental shower gel, don't ask, and now has the power to compress her skeleton and mold her face, making her a master of disguise. Wow! Exactly. She might have been a versatile model-slash-actress-slash-whatever, but instead, she turned to crime. It happens too much. You see, this morning, Madam Snake slithered out of the state facility for the unusually limber and now threatens to turn our entire populace into fashion victims. Fashion victims, eh? Any idea how? Now? Your ball, Chief. We believe she'll steal all the designer clothing in the state, so everyone will be forced to wear her latest creations. Yuck! You said it, Brenda. Those threads are so out. No way! Bummer. Madam Snake's been spotted near Jeanette's department store. Don't worry, Governor Kevin. We're on the case. Yes! Look at all these new fashions. Well, no time for fitting rooms. I'll take everything. Toy Boys, Operation Clearance Sale has begun. Sorry, but there's no sale today, Madam Snake. Back away from the triple tuck charmous blouses. And try not to wrinkle anything. Well, if it isn't Timo Supremo, I read about you on the slammer. Toy Boys, escape with the truck while I distract the children. Sizzza! Timo, scramble! I've got you now! I don't think so. Chica! Uh, uh, uh. Now we've got you. Buzzer! After her! Oh, Timo, I just saw that Madam Snake run back into the store. Thank you, citizen. My pleasure, Timo Supremo. Once again, my moldable skeleton has helped me avoid capture. <laughs> Gee, boss, that was ever so close. Yes. I'll never have any success with Timo Supremo around. That's weird. What's this? I don't see her anywhere. I don't get it. The security guard said she was here. She sure is slippery. We'd better call it a day. Yeah, we still gotta do our homework for Mrs. Willingans. Good thing she never gives too much. Which always leaves us plenty of time for extracurricular crime fight. Mrs. Willingans never gives too much homework. We'll see about that. I'm very glad to see that everyone has done their homework. Attention, Mrs. Willingans, please report to the office. Oh, bother. Now, everyone behave, I'll be right back. Mrs. Willingans, I presume. Who are you and where is your hall pass? I think the question should be, who am I now? Take her away, boys. Mrs. Willingans, can we learn about conspiracy theories today? No. In fact, we're done with whatever we were doing before. It's time for me to give you tonight's homework assignment. That's for you, and that's for you. Huh? Wow. I never remember getting this much homework for Mrs. Willingans before. Me neither. But you know how upset she gets if we don't do it. And it's our duty as superhero students to set a good example. Hey, it's time to watch that TV mask show that's part of tonight's assignment. Timo, Madam Snake is robbing another store. Sorry, Governor Kevin, but we have too much homework to do before we can get back to crime fighting. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I understand, Timo. Good. Even though we could use your help, I'm glad you have your ducks in a row. <laughs> You're still doing homework. Well, we are, and it's making me hungry. I know. I'll make s'mores. Oh, I'm sorry you kids have been cooped up all week. I have a good mind to call your principal. It's almost criminal. You just might have something there, Earth Mom. Mrs. Willingans has been acting sort of strange this week. Yeah, and I think she's been hissing her asses lately. Right. And remember how she usually pretends to be annoyed with me when I ask her questions? She hasn't yelled at you all week. That's weird. 
Timo, I think a certain supervillain with shape-shifting powers has captured and replaced Mrs. Willingans. Whoa! We gotta get her back! Yeah, the real Mrs. Willingans gives less homework. That's not why we have to save Mrs. Willingans. Madam Snake's not just messing with clothes, she's messing with our teacher. And nobody messes with Timo Supremo's teacher. Right on! <laughs> It's a very nice scarf you have on today, Mrs. Willingans. Yes! It's a Pierre Le Fou. Can you believe it? Usually his designs are far too pricey, but this one was a real bargain. Uh, right. Excuse me, Mrs. Willingans, but how do you pronounce this word? What? You mean success? Yep, that's the one. Mrs. Willingans, is it true that there's no substance stronger than aronium? I am. Uh, and that omega rays can give you superpowers? Omega? Doesn't quantum theory imply that we should be able to remember the future? Mamai, you are a curious fellow, aren't you? That lady is not Mrs. Willingans. She's got to be Madam Snake. Quiet, here she comes. This is for you, Mrs. Willingant. Why, thank you. I've always had a fondness for apples. Why'd you give her that apple cap? That wasn't just any apple, Brenda. That was a level seven apple, coated with a non-toxic substance that's radio traceable. Chica, now we can trace it to her lair. Yahoo! Oh, I almost forgot. I have something for you, too. Enjoy! Oh no! Even more homework! What are we gonna do? I have an idea. Under ordinary circumstances, of course I wouldn't do this, but... <laughs> there you go, kids. I've busted out an official state homework pardon for each of you. But remember now, it's good for one night, and one night only tonight. Thank you, Governor Kevin! Come on, Timo! Let's make this night without homework count! Don't leave your kids. Mr. Paulson? Samantha and I just whipped up these level seven handcuffs. Their unstable molecular properties are sure to hold Madam Snake, if you can get them on her. Will do, Mr. Paulson. Thanks. Say, Paulson, you think I could get a couple pairs of those handcuffs for me and the boys in the department? No. Say, Governor, do you think I could get one of those homework pardons for my nephew? No. According to the tracer, Madam Snake is right beneath us. Well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> You'll never get away with this, Madam Snake. Ha! You teachers know even less about evil plans than you do about fashion. Soon everyone will have to wear my designs. <laughs> fashion statement you'll have to take back. Timo Supremo, here? What about all that homework? Never mind. Toy boys, get them! Round them up, rope girl. Skate lad, free Mrs. Willingan. I've got Madam Snake. <laughs> Skate lad, nothing to it. You're not getting away this time. Don't be so sure. But now, <laughs> your scheme is out of style, Madam Snake. That's what you think. All right now. Uh, which of these two should we cart off? She's the faker! Yeah. She's the real villain! Whoa! Talk about your identity crisis! What are we gonna do? I've got an idea. 
Excuse me, Mrs. Willinganses, but I thought you should know that Governor Kevin pardoned us from all our work in order to save you. Hey, what? That oversteps his jurisdiction. Oh, I'm so happy you kids got out of your homework to rescue me. When I get back to school, you'll never have to do homework again. No homework? Tempting. But I don't think so. She's all yours, Chief. I don't understand. My disguise looks perfect. How did you know? That's easy. Yeah, Mrs. Willingetts might not give a lot of homework. But she gets really upset if you don't do it. Smart kids, Willingans. The pardon was for only one night, I swear. It had better be. 